Number five, identify each of the underlying items as a part of either the macroscopic domain, the microscopic domain, or the symbolic domain of chemistry. For those in the symbolic domain, indicate whether they are symbols for a macroscopic or a microscopic feature. All right, so I see there's four parts, so let me quickly just label this A, B, C, and D. And let's just rush over these. We did them more in depth into last um, question. So if you want to check out number four in the first chapter, go right ahead. But let's just quickly go over these right now. Macroscopic domain is anything that we can see with our naked eyes. So literally that we can see. I can see my computer here. I can see my calculator. I see my coffee. Got to have my coffee. Um, microscopic domain is stuff that we cannot see, but we know that is there. So atoms, molecules, individual atoms, individual, individual molecules, bacteria, viruses, all that stuff from science that we know about, but we just can't see. And then symbiol, bleh, symbolic domain is literally those symbols that we see on the periodic table that represent either elements or if we put them together, they're compounds. So O for oxygen, C for carbon, F for fluorine those would be part of the symbiotic domain. So if you automatically see a symbol underlined or a first, uh, a one-letter code or a two-letter code, it's automatically part of the symbiotic domain. All right, letter A. A certain molecule contains one H atom and one Cl atom. So let me key in here by they want H, and it's an H atom. It's the one-letter code for what element is this? It's hydrogen. But since they use that symbol, it's automatically part of the symbolic domain. Now, the question said, if it's part of the symbolic domain, we just got to figure out whether it's part of the macroscopic feature or the microscopic feature. It means the same exact thing as whether it was part of the domains. So macroscopic feature is stuff that you can see. Microscopic is stuff that you cannot see with the human eye. So since they're talking about H atoms... We cannot see individual atoms or molecules. So this would be part of the microscopic feature. Simple as that. B. Copper wire has a density of about 8 grams per centimeters cubed. Did they use a symbol here? No, they did not. They literally wrote out the word copper. So it's not part of the symbiotic domain. But now we just got to figure out whether it's macroscopic or microscopic. Can we see copper wire with our naked eye or can we not see copper wire? We definitely can see copper wire. So this would be part of the macroscopic domain. Awesome. Let's keep going. The bottle contains 15 grams of NI powder. An NI if you haven't already guessed, or no, NI is the code for nickel. They used a symbol here. So right off the bat, it's part of the symbolic domain. So they could have said nickel powder, but they said NI powder. They used the symbol, so that's part of the symbolic domain. But now we just got to figure out whether it's part of the macroscopic feature or a microscopic feature. They're talking about nickel powder. 15 grams. So grams we definitely can see. And if you're in science class, if you're in a chemistry class, well, obviously you're in a chemistry class. Hello. <laughs> but... Um, you probably have to weigh stuff out in grams. So you can definitely see that being weighed. And it's nickel powder. So this would be part of the macroscopic. It's a macroscopic feature. Last one. A sulfur molecule is composed of eight sulfur atoms. They did not use a symbol here. They wrote out the whole word sulfur. So this is not part of the symbolic domain. Now we just got to figure out whether it's macro or microscopic. Can we see a sulfur molecule or can we not see a sulfur molecule with our eye? Definitely not. We can't see 
those molecules or atoms with our eye. So this would be part of the microscopic domain. Awesome job, guys. Hope this helped a lot. If it did, please remember to click that subscribe button. We got tons more videos coming your way. Um, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye-bye.